Hi, I'm Hannah. And I'm Abby. Thanks for watching. Okay, today we have a very special episode. Uh, my sister Abby is back. She is joining me for um, a little knit and chat. And then at the end, we'll talk about what we're currently making and what we're going to make for the fall. Um, so recently, this past weekend, we went to the beach and um, on the drive, I said, if you have any questions, send them our way and we'll answer them. But then um, we got a lot of great questions. So thank you if you sent a question. Um, the number one asked question was, when are you making another like full length video together? So, so we had to make another video to answer the question. Yes. Basically, my captions weren't working and neither of our children were sleeping. Um, and so we didn't really end up having any time to like... <laughs> answer any of the questions or give thought to them so we thought we would make another video and finish answering them we answered some of them already um mm -hmm. the more like light-hearted or easy to answer ones mm -hmm. but we have some like other ones that came through later that we're we're gonna answer but we'll start with what we're wearing do you want to go first okay i'm wearing the feldspar tee by herb knit herb garden knitwear um and i think i like it you think you like it? I love it. I mean, I like it in theory, but I was running with like yarn constraints. And so it didn't have enough yarn to do like the full length sleeve. And so I'm still like mm -hmm. trying to decide if I like the sleeves or if they're too, like, I don't know. I like them. I think they look great. They're definitely like shorter than they're supposed to be. Oh, okay. I guess like, I wouldn't have known if you hadn't said anything. Yeah, I think they're supposed to be like down here and they're supposed to have the garter rib, like the garters stripe on oh, them too okay cute but but i found the two swatches that i had used out of this yarn so i could rip out the swatches and rip and out the sleeves them. for the second time and make them longer i was gonna say when i tried this on i felt like the sleeve was longer so yeah maybe yeah oh i don't know i like it i think it looks wonderful on you well thank you so i'm just trying to get used to it um but i love the little eyelet detail um on the neck i was really nervous about how it would work because it doesn't have any shaping oh. um but i don't feel like you can tell like if no, the lay is really nice yeah um, looks great in the back too. yeah um and i just was wanting something like a little bit different it has the um the eyelets around the hem too oh that's so cute um and i love this yarn yeah what did you use it's sea isle cotton okay. wool um so it's like a it's a 50 50 blend i think and it's, it's like a so nice. it's like a chainette mm. um style yeah Where, um where'd you get it was it the oh. knitting addict oh okay yeah yeah knitting addict mm -hmm. yeah i picked it out for my birthday we didn't love the name but the store was very nice <laughs> yes mm -hmm. it, yeah um okay oh yeah yeah for, yeah i love and it so it's, like, it's like i don't know if you can tell it's kind of pink it's like a pink and white like kind of marled i think the wool might be pink and the cotton is white i think i love it um and it was a really good yardage i think it was um like over 300 yards and 100 grams gain um and it's like worsted oh yeah dk worsted um good choice i love it okay well thanks i was wearing it today to yeah. get feedback to decide if i should keep it or um frog it yeah but. i love it no i love it um okay i am wearing my ranunculus that i just finished um it yeah i i think i like it kind of like what abby was saying <laughs> um i made it out of santolina um from pearl soho which they very kindly sent me it is a cotton um oh gosh i'm not gonna remember there's a lot of things in it i'll put it in the description but it rayon in it? yeah i think it has rayon maybe like alpaca it's like a lot of different things and it's like a heavy fingering weight so i didn't meet the gauge for the ranunculus but i just kind of finagled it to see what size i would need to make for the right fit so i'm happy with the ease here um i want it to be like an oversized throw over kind of shirt but these are very, these sleeves are very tight <laughs> um, on me. And so I am now wearing it just as a shirt, not as like a throwover sweater. So I like it as just a shirt, but it's not quite meeting what I was like no. hoping for. It looks really cute as a shirt. And I think the stitch definition in this yarn looks so good. Yeah, I really want more of this yarn. Um, me too. <laughs> I know I have like maybe... Um, half a skein left and I'm like what can I make with with half a skein? You should either make a scrunchie for yourself. Oh yeah. Or like a Sophie scarf or a scarf number one for Ollie. 
Oh yeah, he might like that. It is so soft and he does really like soft. Okay, this is like really tight Are there on my decreases arm. on the sleeve? No. Really? Yeah. Can you go back? What if you just like ripped it out and put like an increase underneath here? Oh yeah. And that's like true. then make it them just like a little bit looser. This is like loose here, but yeah, sorry, yeah. we were just like really analyzing that. Um, I did modify it to have the I cord and it's like on the neck and the sleeves and on the um him. him. Um, so I think it's just like a ribbing. Uh, one has twisted rib, one view has regular rib. Um, I think it would be really high uh, if I did <laughs> the, the ribbing. So mm -hmm. I like that. Someone actually messaged me after and said they love their ranunculus, but if they were gonna change anything, they would not do these short rows right here. Mm -hmm. Cause it raises the neck a lot. And I was like, oh. Cause looking at it now, I'm like, it doesn't need to be that high for me. I would probably rather it come like this. Mm -hmm. So you don't see, you can see there's like not some there and there is some there. So I don't really know. Maybe it's to give it like a boat neck. That's what the pattern says is that oh, okay. it has the short rows to make it a boat neck. And then also to give the shape illusion of necklaces is what the design oh. is. And so like your necklace is like draped oh, like down. that. Okay. Okay. I see. Um, so, so it makes sense. There was a design reason, but. Yes. I should have read that. Um, I thought the short rows were like going to be like this, if that makes sense, so that it would actually cause the neckline to mm. lower. So when I read short rows to shape the neckline, I was like, oh yeah, that's normal, you know? But they were instead like this, mm. um, which again, like I, I'm very happy with it. I like it a lot. I'm happy with this <laughs> drape here. The yarn is beautiful. The only thing is I might maybe, I really do like this length, but I'm thinking about maybe Mm. Just taking them off here, or maybe I could like pick up an extra stitch or something. Maybe I just need to <laughs> block it again. Anyway, yes, very happy with it. I know, like, we well, the last time I talked about your ranunculus, I got a ton of comments about people knitting them. There was like so many people that were like, I'm knitting one as I'm watching. Well, <laughs> I, I really want to make one now. Yes, so. oh, she brought yarn, she's seeing what I'm using. I did. I have this. It's super old. I bought it like right when we were starting to get into knitting mm -hmm. and I didn't buy enough. To, oh like, yeah. It was that in Black Mountain? Yes. Okay. Uh, mm, I can't think of the name of that yarn store. Is it still there? Black Mountain Yarn Shop. No, I didn't buy it at Black Mountain. Sorry. Oh, okay. This is um in that town that's like all about the squirrels in the <gasps> oh, mountains. That mountain yeah. trip. I don't know. Anyways, it was like a mountain. <laughs> it was we do know our state a little bit. We don't know the mountains that well, so um, maybe we need to go to the mountains. Brevard. It was in Brevard. Brevard yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. They love squirrels there, so that was funny. Yeah. Um, anyways, it was a discontinued yarn, super on sale, and um, it is Classic Elite Yarns um, Mika. Mika? I don't know. Sounds good to me. Um, and it's 100% organic cotton. Oh, that was really cheap. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I think it's like a sport weight-ish. Yeah. I tried to make a rift out of it. Didn't work. Um, Wait, now it's on your face. Mm, Lean back. Sorry. Oh, there we go. Yeah. It's so pretty. It has a really fun texture to it. I think that would be perfect for this. Um, so I scoured the internet, hunted Ravelry, tried to find it in stock somewhere and so now I have enough to make pretty much whatever I want I think so yeah that's what I'm thinking this was like enough to make me start thinking I might actually like making one a t-shirt and two a lace t-shirt or like textured like this mm -hmm. like now I'm looking at yours I'm like oh I might really like that this one I is, do really like this this one is really cool because I met Gage and so I used the pattern Gage but she has a whole calculation sheet to like tell you like any gauge you want to make it this is how you modify it that's um, awesome. which was pretty cool. Yeah, that's yeah very, very cool. I think it's very size inclusive as well. Yeah, there's a lot of sizes. Yeah, mm -hmm. I saw that too. There's like different versions. She like, I think she first released it in a magazine that wasn't as inclusive, but then she re-released it under her name. And there's like a ton. Mm -hmm, and regraded it. Very cool, very cool. But anyways, this. I see what I'm thinking about. I know, I'm pink. You're just gonna think I'm a pink person after this and this is... <laughs> <laughs> she has two pink things. It's this shirt and that yarn. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Pink looks great. Well, the next part, my project that I'm working on right now is pink too. Oh yeah, that's so. true. Um, oh, okay, so now we have some questions to answer. Abby has those on her phone. Um, okay, I'm gonna ask them to you. Oh, okay. Favorite color in Goodwill? Okay, favorite color in Goodwill. So when I started using Goodwill <laughs> quite a few years ago, they only had the undyed shades. 
And so I, they had like five undyed shades of Goodwill. And I think that I used like all of them. Originally, the first one I ordered was Heirloom White. Mm -hmm. And I have a whole sweater in that. I think I might have two sweaters in that. Um, and so I kind of have a soft spot for Heirloom White. After they came out with their like huge line of colors, mm -hmm. um, I really liked the, what's that one? Nope, nope, Pink Dawn. Mm, I really like the Pink Dawn. And um, that is what I made. Oh yeah, there it is, a kind sample. Of, it kind of looks like the color of my shirt a little bit. Uh-huh, yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah, when it's like in person, it's like a pink with like maybe a little bit of brownie mm -hmm. orange. I don't wanna, I'm not a color person, but. I'm feeling it, I um, like it a lot. Yeah, what's your favorite? I don't know, I had to pull it up because I'm not as well versed. You don't have any as, as much as um, I made your classic crew classic crew out of it and I love yeah, it and one. yeah my son loves that so he wears it a lot oh yeah he wore um, that like every day last year yeah so I need to make I have yarn to make him another one um but I haven't done it yet Hayfield yes I made his in Hayfield which I like it was surprising when I got it the amount of like red and green in it oh, um God. so it's very like unique mm -hmm. um yeah, they definitely have like colors in in colors. I kind of like the look of the lemon meringue. I have never used it, but I kind of want it. I think you need that. I haven't seen that. They must have gotten new colors. Um. Yeah. I don't know. All those purples are really pretty too. Mm hmm. Yeah. But I mean, you can't can't really go wrong with like a. I kind of like the pale patina. Ooh, show that one. I like that one. Too. Um. But I guess I'm a little nervous about it pulling to um UNC. Oh, yeah. UNC blue, so that's why I didn't use it because you know we live in a in an area that has like three large two state schools, one very prominent private school, and um, yeah, so we can't wear blue because we went to the red schools. So. Yes, and the the yarn for my, uh, for Micah's next uh, classic crew is red. Okay, good. So good. Um, yes, gotta represent. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go. No, it's almost you know. like turquoise. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, think that's... I know. I I usually hunt Ravelry to look at projects. I don't know if I did because the colors can pull kind of different. And you can see everyone's person. bad lighting. To yeah, see <laughs> what they look like. Okay, next question. Uh, did we answer the process and product? Yeah, but I never posted. Oh, the they captions never worked. Were okay. Working. Yeah, no. Um, are you and your sister a product or process knitters? Okay, I think that I am a mix of both. I. Um, knit color work or cables often because I just like to knit them. I really enjoy knitting cables. I like color work for a challenge sometimes, but like when I wanted to make this, I really thought about what do I want in my wardrobe. It didn't necessarily turn out like that. <laughs> <laughs> but recently I think I've been a lot more of a product knitter. I think as I'm trying to use up yarn I already own. Mm -hmm. I think product has been much easier to plan for because I can say I have this brown yarn, what do I want to make this brown? Mm -hmm. That kind of thing. What about you? Product or process? Um, I'm definitely a product knitter. Like I want this in my wardrobe and so I am going to make it and then I'm like, I gotta finish because I want to wear it. Um, there are some processes that I'm like, mm, I would have to really, really, really want that in my wardrobe to be willing to knit that. Yeah, like a... Like kill my of husband's. <laughs> My husband has recently started knitting, and he's really good at it, I guess. Like, he's very dedicated to the craft mm -hmm. and making it, um... He's also, like, ambitious, I think. Yes, yeah. ambitious and just, like, I'm gonna go for it. So, his first sweater, he's working on it, seemed cabled. Brooklyn Tweed. Bottom-up. Jaren Flood. Is that mm -hmm. what, yeah. Yeah. And I just don't want really to have a desire to do that, like, at all. <laughs> like, I know this is gonna be, like, in your wardrobe forever. It's yeah. It's probably gonna fit great. It's gonna be super sturdy, because it's seamed. It's gonna be super gorgeous, but I don't have like the. Yeah. But yeah. it was it was more of like a it was also a product knit decision because he's like I wouldn't wear a stock in that sweater like I just wouldn't mm -hmm. gravitate towards that so he's like I think cables would make it interesting and I would wear that. That's smart. So I was like okay then that's what you should knit if mm -hmm. that's you don't think you'd wear a stock in that sweater. Yeah. But he knows himself. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> self-awareness yeah but this was a little bit like I want something different I have a lot of stockinette so mm -hmm. this was like a little bit of like I don't know about lace but I can do eyelids texture yeah texture yeah. and it has like Very the garter pretty. rib stripes so yeah yeah I'm thinking about trying new processes okay but. are you a product or process center 
And maybe um, what is one process that you just cannot get behind? Ooh, yes. Because right now I'm also knitting a bottom-up flat seamed cardigan, mm -hmm. um, which I don't know that I, I don't, yeah, I don't know I ever thought I would make that, but I really, really, really want it, mm -hmm. you know? So I don't know. So what's one you can't get behind? I will ask you who started knitting first. At this level of knitting, actually, like producing garments, you. Okay, true. But I, I started knitting as a child, I think, first. Um, I don't remember if grandma, like, tried to teach or something. Or, and then, so then mom learned how to knit. So that way she could, like, help me relearn. I'm not really sure. But I have a vivid memory of this. I guess it's kind of similar to that yellow from Goodwill. But <laughs> this, like, acrylic yellow garter um, scarf that I was trying to knit. And I actually found it a couple years ago. And I tossed it, which I wish I hadn't. But um, Michael would love it. I know, right? But it had holes in it and dropped stitches and like wavy edges, and it was it was just a little thing. What it was good memories, and I really appreciate my mom like learning to help me. Yeah, no, they definitely like invested in our in our hobbies. hobbies. Yeah. yeah, we have like at home like at our parents. I feel like they're still there. We have like these big knitting project bags yes. and like all these different like notions and tools mm -hmm. that they had get, like gotten us for Christmas or gifted to us throughout the, the years. So yeah, I feel like we kind of started around the same time, but I was too little to learn mm -hmm. from like grandma or mom at that age, mm -hmm. but yeah. Okay, um, the next question is uh, advice for finding time to knit with littles. This friend says, every row counts for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's real. Do you have any advice or just solidarity? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, sometimes if my son is napping, I'll get some alone time to knit. Mm -hmm. um, also, if we, wipe, we watch a show together after nap time. And if he's not sitting super close in my lap, then I can get some knitting. And then mm -hmm. um, also if he's like playing independently, um, Sometimes I do it at meal times when I finish because I often finish eating before him. Okay, to be fair, your your son does. It's a little like he does eat kind of slow. Yeah. So it, like it's not like you're sitting there. Yeah. And and so it helps me like keep my focus on him and not be like this is taking forever. That's just a real life confession with me because sometimes I get bored at meal times because they take a long time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, I would say my husband actually just asked me like this morning. He was like. I haven't seen you, you haven't posted anything on your knitting Instagram lately. How, like, what have you been making? Um, and I was like, honestly, I feel like I haven't been knitting that much lately. Mm -hmm. um, like, I finished this because, yeah, when we drove to the beach, I didn't have to drive the whole time. Yeah, we split it. Mm -hmm. And so that was nice. So I got to work on this. And then, um, yeah, I would say, I think it also depends on your child, too. Mm -hmm. Um yeah, watching a show, if I watch a show with Ollie, I will also knit if he's not sitting on my lap because I have told him like, you enjoy watching the show, mommy enjoys knitting so we can, you know, do that together. Mm -hmm. And then when we're done, honestly, yeah, I, I would put it away. I talked about this recently um, with, with another knitting friend that it can feel like, I don't know, I, I don't want, I want to give him like my focus. And so sometimes mm -hmm. it feels like it's almost like, you know, looking at my phone or something mm -hmm. like that. Like, mm -hmm. I would like, I don't, I don't want that for him. Mm -hmm. um, but if your child like does not care, like they're happy to just like go play and do it. They have a friend or whatever they want to, mm -hmm. they want to do. And they are not interested in what you're doing or wanting you to play. Then like, that's, that's fine. It just depends on your family, but yeah. And sometimes I invite Micah to join me in it. Like he would really like to be able to knit. He's too young. Yeah. He can sew with me, and so that's fine. He really oh, enjoyed that. We should bring Abby and Micah made a bag for his first day of school. Mm -hmm. That was really special. Yeah. Oh, for his new school, he has to have a full size backpack. So either <gasps> I have to buy a full size backpack. Or we can make one together. Oh my gosh. He it has would, to fit like. He would love that. He would be like, would. me mommy made this. Gosh. <laughs> oh Maybe you should do that. It has to fit like a full sized folder. Oh. So yeah. I need to look at sewing patterns. I know this is a knitting pod, but if anybody has backpack recommendations that are full sized. Okay. Yeah. I see a lot of mini. Yeah. I think the mini ones are super cute. And that's yeah. what I would have gravitated toward. But I read the manual yesterday. Full -sized. And it has to be full sized. Okay. But if I make it, then I can make the straps, like, small enough that he can wear, he can it. wear it. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because otherwise okay. it would just wear him down. I mean, he's big enough that he could do it, but 
Yeah. Oh, the other thing is, is like I am knitting a sweater for Ollie right now. And so mm -hmm. when I am working on it, like I will say, oh, this sweater is for you. Like mommy's mm -hmm. making it for you. And so that, that makes mm -hmm. it special. And also yeah. like if he's reading some books, then I'm like, yeah, mommy's going to work on the sweater for you and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, like yeah, that. it's definitely, I don't really have any advice, just solidarity. And knowing your child or your children. Yeah, and like yeah. What if you want, like the summer supervising is like super popular where like, you allow your child to have like independent play mm -hmm. but you still like watch them because you can be in the backyard they can play with the hose or the water table stuff like that and so that's a good project for you to work on when they are having independent play for sure or you know when grandma's around and they don't want you <laughs> that is that just our kids <laughs> that happens to us <laughs> um the next question is barbie or oppenheimer okay i have not seen either me neither i would i think be interested in seeing both of them Mm -hmm. Yeah, I am not interested in seeing both of them, just Barbie, but I can see how you would be. Yeah, I don't know why I agreed with that, but... I don't really know the premise of it that much, except for I think it's a like World War II thing, maybe? Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, I love history. Yeah. I mean, I think yeah. I'm definitely yeah. dressed more... Barbies. Yeah, I'm dressed more Barbie right now. Yeah, you are. Cute. Not very me, but my pants are black, so yeah. <laughs> that's more. But Honestly, I haven't seen a movie, th movie in a theater like, I feel like when we, my husband and I got married, we stopped going because we were trying to, like, mm. budget. And so we were like, yeah, we don't need to go see movies. Yeah, when they come out. I mean, we went and saw one movie in the past year. I can't remember what it was. But know. neither of those are, like, on the top of my husband's list to go see because there's other movies that are coming out that he wants to see more, so. Really? Okay, we'll have to talk because I, I do like, you know, being up with the times, you know, what's coming out, but mm -hmm. my husband mentioned Barbie again yesterday. I think he's like, do you want to go see it? Mm. Like, someone at work said it was good. Do you want to go? Because I think he wants, like, I know if my, I want to go, he wants right. to go. Or wants me to be able to my go. My sister-in-law went and saw both of them this weekend, so we um, can get her feedback. Yeah, definitely. Um, okay, next question. Oh, this is our last question. What is your favorite thing to do as sisters? to do together? Hmm. Well, I feel like most often what we do right now is we go to coffee shops with the boys. Yes, I was going to say, um, <laughs> coffee and knitting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, but we recently talked about how we like want to be more intentional about spending more time together, like just the two of us mm -hmm. and um, sending the boys with their dads to go do something and just um, like having more time for each other. We went to a, a gym class the other day together and that mm -hmm. was really good. Yeah, it was. Um, yeah, I feel like favorite thing to do together and then also what are we able to do right now with yeah. our current, like, mm -hmm. lifestyle. I mean, definitely travel together because, like, yes. that would be amazing. We traveled a bunch. Growing when up. We, yeah, growing up, mm -hmm. living, when we were both living, you know, at home or even um, in, college. in college. We traveled mm -hmm. a ton with our family together even. Maybe we should try to convince the boys that we should go on a reunion trip to portland oh yeah our our small children or our husbands our husbands okay, yeah, yeah <laughs> Sorry. Well, our summer we spent my sister me and my husband we all spent the summer in portland and at one point her husband came out and visited we were like married at the time yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah no. none of us were but um yeah i keep thinking about that because there's like cool lots of cool kids stuff that like mm -hmm. phil and i went to because we were just like trying to explore everything and so now like taking the boys to like ride this the Sky Train, yes. or whatever. The Portland the, Rose Garden, the zoo, the Japanese Garden. No, wait, it was Chinese Garden. Oh, yeah, yeah I never did that. Oh yeah, we went to Tai Chi. Yeah, oh, I never heard of that. yeah, it was really fun. Um, okay, so yes, traveling together probably currently coffee shops or a yarn shop even. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, 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 those are kind of our our things mm -hmm. that we do. Or if we could do all of those, go to Coco Cinnamon, go to the Little Park. And go to Freeman's. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you ever go to Durham, that's like your day. So like day that's the plan. morning. Yeah. And it's like kid friendly. Mm -hmm. All that. Stuff. Yeah. Freeman's is so like, they're so welcoming yeah. to the families. And they like the mini park. It's like, and churros. Yes. Yeah. But yeah. Also, yarn shops and coffee shops are great when you're traveling. That's true. Like, mm -hmm. we definitely get to, we have a lot of great coffee shops here in our area, but then going to find new ones is always awesome too. I mean... You're about to travel. I'm really excited for all of your adventures. You'll probably yes. share when you get back. Yes. I haven't talked about that yet, but... Um, Sorry, that's why I didn't say Oh, no, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. I'm, like, super weird about, like, uh, 
you know, like the I, I know privacy. That's why I said no okay. hotels. Anyway, yes, we're going to visit my husband's sister and her husband um, in like two months. It's getting very close. I was like, yeah, for our trip, I want to make um, all three of us new hats. I want to make a new sweater for myself. And then I was like, oh my gosh, I need to get started. So I got to like drop everything and start on that. I don't know. Anyway, okay, so now we're going to talk about, I'll share more. Maybe I'll ask for some like uh, local local tips on my Instagram. Um, but anyway, now we're going to talk about what we're working on. And then we're going to share one project for the fall that we're planning to make. Mm -hmm. Um do you want to go? Sure. Okay, so this is like about to be on my needles. I just, the swatch is ready and I was showing it to Hannah. So this is my creative swatching because I didn't want to do a full swatch in every color combination. This is it. Uh, for Hannah's latest test knit. Um, and so I am planning on going with the gray and the purple. Mm. Uh, I think it's like a worsted and a DK weight. Um, the purple is left over from when I did Hannah's fluffy set. Mm -hmm. Um, from the runes, mm -hmm. runes. Yeah. yeah, and so I think that they will look pretty together. Mm -hmm. I'm doing the baby size, gonna be um, a gift knit to a friend who's having a baby this fall. Um, and then my husband is going to be knitting the size for our son, um, which is exciting. Is and this his first time test knitting? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, he's really excited. He's also like, Do you know other men test knit? And I was like, Um, maybe not, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I like you guys, I feel like your your names are the same on on Slack, and so I don't think if people saw like I don't think it would be super weird to be like, oh, there's two people with the same name or something. Like, oh yeah, yeah like yeah. you both have your last name, and so mm -hmm. he, he didn't introduce himself or say what yarn he was using yet. Oh, um, I haven't either. Oh yeah, that's okay. I don't think I said I'm really bad himself. at Slack. It's okay. It's okay. Um, he downloaded it. He didn't have it yet. Oh. Um, and he's doing like this brown and not this green, but a different green. Mm -hmm. Um, if he's holding like. Um, it's more of an olive. That yeah. one is like a, well, I don't know. That's olive too. It's a darker green. He's holding um, a uh, knitting for olive. Two knitting for uh, knitting for olive Mary. merino and knitting for olive um, Surrey or uh, mohair. mohair and a. Um, oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with the thought of the stripes being fuzzy, and this is like kind of being. Oh yeah, it's yeah. kind of fuzzy. Oh. I want to make a same colored version, but one with like <gasps> boucle or one with mohair and then the rest plain. Okay. Oh, anyway. Sorry. Really cute. Okay. And then this is what's like actually on my needles and I'm so close to being done. I really wanted to finish it before today, but I didn't. Um, Looks so so yeah, it's on a, Oh, I was like, <gasps> the no. stitches are off. <laughs> it's on a barber cord. Is okay. that what it's called? Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. So this is camisole number six. Um, but I was, when I started knitting it, I looked at the sizes and I was like, oh, I didn't know it was so not size inclusive. I didn't realize when I purchased it, I just saw like a friend make it. I was like, oh, I want it on you. And so I bought it. And then I felt. It's inside out. Oh, it's inside out. Okay, thank you. I felt bad after I started making it. I was like, oh, but I'd already bought it. So I decided to keep making it. But, but if you want a pattern that is kind of similar, Jessie Mae has like the the ripple. Um, oh, that's true. Kind of similar, yeah, they're yeah. kind of similar. I did do a deep dive trying to find something similar, and I couldn't find anything. Yeah. Um, but it looks so really nice. Maybe someone needs to design something. You can edit that out. Yeah. No. Um, it looks really, really. So nice. maybe one day they'll increase the sizes. Yeah, I hope so. Um, and I'm using it's beautiful. another sail yarn because I. Bye, so <laughs> it's also discontinued <laughs> sorry but you can still buy it online i went looking because i was actually really liking the way it knit up mm -hmm. um it's the weekend by baroco and it is um a cotton acrylic blend it's so cool it, like it's almost like a cord but then when you knit it it doesn't it feels like mm -hmm. really good yeah and it's like all individual like threads mm -hmm. but it's not super splitty no I knit a little bit when she was driving on it to see like what it how if I could knit quickly <laughs> more we're, I don't even remember what we're trying to see I'm trying to see if she was like how long it took her versus me but I didn't actually like I know like, so like, I got three rows so it's okay I think um, it's gonna... yeah, that looks beautiful yeah so I'm excited almost done with it just trying to decide on the length because there's no way shaping or anything and mm -hmm. like my hips are significantly bigger um, and so I'm trying to find like the sweet spot to end it. Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking about increases, but I think there's like enough stretch that I don't need it. Cause it's not actually, it's supposed to have negative ease, 
but it's not actually that tight on me. So, mm -hmm. what are you gonna make for the fall? I have what was the pattern that I asked you? Lento. <laughs> yes. Lento. Okay, I have two lentos on my two knit list as gifts. Do you already have the yarn? I do already have the yarn. Ooh, okay. um, I'm gonna use the Arrow yarn by Cascade, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which is that brown and the swatch oh, that yeah, I showed. that's perfect, um, yeah. That's actually what I knit my Lento out of, and um, my family saw it and loved it, and I was like, I've never made you anything. I This is my year of gift knits. I'm committing to this by Christmas-ish. Um, so, yeah, we'll see. They're all, they both like want the same size as me, I think. So I just have to remember the edits that I made because I like significantly altered it. You did. It. Maybe we have them in a text somewhere or something. Ooh, that's a good idea. Yeah, you could just search like a uh, My Linto. Yeah, but I have, um, so I have Hannah's Tess in it mm -hmm. and I have the two Lintos and... Are you gonna make something for yourself? I would definitely like to. Um, but you want to make Micah's sweater too. Oh yeah, I, need I, it. I have the classic crew to make for Micah. Maybe I can assign that to my husband. Yes, 100%. <laughs> Send that over. Should I have him make this sweater for his mom or his sister? Yeah, you should have him make one of them. That would be cute, actually. That would be cute. Like, it's from both of you then. Maybe I should do that. Like, in a non, like, you don't actually want to make both. In a way of, like, that's actually really sweet. Yeah. He could make his mom's. Yeah. That would be sweet. Yeah. That's sweet. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, we talked about the ronculus. Oh, so. yeah, yeah. You should. Because this is a great fall transition color. It would be. It's like, yeah. Oh, I like it with my pants. Oh, it does look really pretty with brown and black. Um, yeah, so I think I also need another cardigan, but I do not have a cardigan planned. But Ooh, send her your cardigan recommendations. Yeah. I think you need a heavier weight one than the one I'm making, which is fingering weight. You mm -hmm. need like a DK or Worsted. I don't know if I have any sweater quantities of DK or Worsted. I know. I don't either. That's why I'm making everything in fingering weight. I mostly have fingering weight because like it is more affordable. Mm-hmm. Uh, usually, um, cause I can, but then I'm, then I'm like, that's what I'm really into tees right now and tank tops. Mm -hmm. Um, but I do have the Mondi too. That you gave oh me. yeah. She has a sweater's quantity of fingering weight. That could go heavy fingering weight. I might yeah. say. Um, and I also, did you have it all? I was considering it a sweater's quantity of DK Woolberry, but it's closer to like 800. Mm -hmm. So it's like right on the edge. So Just, it needs to be like cropped or shrunk and fit or something. Search for worsted. <laughs> Ooh, I can knit it loose. Mm -hmm. I did like, I really like the new. There's a new tee design that I've seen yes, on Ravelry. Yes, does it have the eyelets right here? Yes, there? yes. Yes. And then it's DK weight and I was like, oh, that's like cute. Mm -hmm. Maybe I could use my Woolberry for that. And you could wear it in the fall and the winter with just like a shirt, like a jacket or an ocean. Yeah, or like a turtleneck underneath it or something. <gasps> oh, yes. Oh, oh, you could make Tori use um, like vest thing. The Gardarian? No, no, no. Oh, oh her new pattern. That's yes, the, you can make yes. Tori used that's in testing as the neck and then it's like the slit. Yeah. You can wear the tank top or the long sleeves underneath. That would be really cute. Mm -hmm. Okay, on my needles, I'm also working on, oops, that's not it. I'm also working on um, this sweater for that is currently being tested. You for made me. a lot of progress. Yeah. Um, yeah, so basically I knit up the first sample and I changed the construction. I think I talked about this. And so now I'm knitting off of it. <laughs> to make the one that I'm making for my son. I think that, that he will bring this on our trip. It might get totally thrashed, which is not the worst thing though, because it's two strands of Goodwill and that this yarn is like super sturdy, I think. And oh, so, for sure, for sure. Um, I feel like that will probably be okay, but I want him to stay warm. Mm -hmm. And um, so yeah, I need to work on that. Um, I love the good hold, good wool hold, held double. It I know feels I do so too. Good. It feels like really good. I like almost like it better than held single. So I want it for myself, but I I don't have like any in stash. So that's why I'm using other stash yarn for mine. Yeah, the intention behind this design was to like use the yarn that you have. Um, that's why I like it has stripes or um, some of my testers. I might make one. I'm hoping to, but some of my testers are making one that um, or like one with yarn marled together. So I'm really excited to see that. Um, but yeah, so I need to add the neckband so it looks more like a sweater. <laughs> I love it. You're still looking um, for a name, right? Isn't that what you said? Yes, I'm looking for a name. It's a saddle shoulder. I was voting for like the varsity crew. Mm. And you have the classic crew. And this looks like a varsity <gasps> sweater to me. You know, like it just makes me think of like college. Oh my gosh, I love that. Yeah, I've always classic. 
all these like varsity or just varsity crew. Mm -hmm. I don't know. That's that's my thoughts. I don't very academic. Yeah, it feels like kind of feels academic to mm -hmm. me. Yeah, I really like it. I um, want it in my side. Yeah, <laughs> maybe so. Um, something I'm planning to make for the fall. I am planning to make um, hats for my husband, me, and my son. I think. I originally wanted to like use all the same yarn, mm. and I kind of was thinking like this color, mm -hmm. um, but I think I might just go see what's in my stash and um, whatever the heaviest weight yarn I have, so that doesn't take very long. <laughs> you could always um, make it the same like pattern or the same style, even oh, if you can't do the same color. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. So wait, are you thinking about making Bill like a sweater? Oh yeah, I was supposed to work on that this quarter. Yeah, okay. I have yarn for him to make like a champagne cardigan. <gasps> right, I forgot um, about that. But like, I need to, yeah, I've talked about this. He's like really tall, but he's like really skinny, but his shoulders are kind of wide. So I need to like very greatly modify. I was going to bring you a mind to for him to try on. Yeah. It's like super cropped. It'll come to like here on him. But it can I, give you an idea of the shoulder fit. Yeah. If yeah, because I remember like, what size I made. Yeah, I don't know. So. I'm also kind of like, since I've waited this long, maybe I'll just wait and see if there's something that comes out this fall that might be, mm -hmm. maybe you might like more, but you really like the sort of like academic, mm -hmm. kind of plain looking cardigan for him and for his style. Okay, I think that's all we have. Um, do you have anything else? Oh, well, I forgot this, but I was looking at this pattern that's in testing right now that okay. I really, really want to make, Tell us. but it's a bit more of like a, it's in summer fall in it. Um, is it Alicia? Alicia? Plumbering. Oh, uh-huh. What does she have? She has this, like, um, thing, lace, like, mohair-ish, like, cabled, garter-striped tee in testing. That's what I want to see. I was just looking at it. Um, I think the knitting PT uh, tested it. Oh, yes, she does test a lot of those um, very beautiful patterns. Yes, here it is. Oh, that's so pretty. Yeah, I saw it actually when it... Um, oh, tell, us, tell the people what it's called. I just know how to say that. Plenilune? Yeah. Maybe you just put it in the comments. You know? Yeah, <laughs> oh, oh, whoops. Oh. I'll just put it in the comments, but it looks like that. Oh, the reflections. Okay, it looks like that. Yeah, that's beautiful. That's really beautiful. Yeah, I need to see the yardage, but if depending on the yardage, I think I have some yarn that would work for it. So, yeah, I was just thinking, I'm like, oh, I need to start casting on for winter. I'm not ready to let go of summer yet. Also, it's gonna be hot here for a very long time. Yeah, it'll be hot till like October. So, yeah, I'm ready, but I'm I'm ready for fall, even though summer really only came like two weeks ago. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but I really like teas, so I might just keep knitting. Yeah, teas. you're a new tea, a tea girl. I mean, you can knit them all year and just wear them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, happy knitting. Happy Thanks weekend. for joining us. Yes, we will hopefully have some more, some more sister knits another time. Yeah, we have so many more ideas than we have time for, but. Yes. Or child care. <laughs> yeah, that too. Bye. Bye. Thanks.